So it's Christmas day and boy do I have something very special to share with you. Now after spending many weeks of saving up all of my pretty little pennies, just like I used to back when I was a handsome young lad, it finally led to this moment. And I have to tell you, waiting nearly two months for this day to arrive was definitely no easy task. So without further ado, drum roll please. I present to you, coming in at a massive five foot eight and a whopping 187 pounds, my very own Arcade Box, yeah! Now before I continue on with this video, I just have to give a huge shout out to Arcade Rewind for hooking me up. Arcade Rewind is the ultimate place to go to get your arcade needs satisfied with many choices to suit both your needs and your budget. Complete that home bar setup of yours with their authentic bar top boxes. Are you having a hard time getting the family downstairs for dinner? Make it an easy task with their authentic tabletop cabinets. Any arcade enthusiast will definitely have a fun time selecting from a huge range of traditional arcade boxes coming in different sizes and different configurations. Oh, and one of them even has a mini fridge. Perfect for the man cave or the games room. Get your children ready for driving school with this beautiful arcade driving box which includes everyone's favorite arcade racing game, Daytona USA. Prices are extremely reasonable compared to other options around and it has great service to match. Check out the link in the video description for more info. So the first thing I should probably mention about this arcade cabinet is the build quality itself. Now I'm not entirely sure what type of wood that this thing is made of, however I can sum it up in one phrase. Durably stable. And I mean that in every sense of the phrase. This thing is a tank. And despite the height and the weight of this machine, which converted from pounds is 85 kilos, this thing is still surprisingly very easy to move around, thanks to its two handles on the back and the wheels. However, you can still move it around without the wheels and surprisingly, it's very easy. And despite it moving around very easily, the build quality is still extremely sturdy. And quite honestly, considering that it came from China, it really is not that bad. Now while arcade machines back in the 80s and 90s all had CRT screens inside them, these modern day ones only have LCD screens inside them. And that's not me saying it's a bad thing, because while yes, retro gaming on LCD screens always results in input lag, when I first tested this thing, I observed virtually no input lag when I was gaming on it. Even though I was only gaming for about a minute, but still I observed absolutely no input lag whatsoever. The screen inside this cabinet isn't just some ordinary screen they can get from, from your local computer store at $100. This thing is a 26 inch high quality gaming grade display and it is protected with a really nice sheet of glass rather than just some cheap acrylic material which is more prone to scratches and fingerprints, especially when cleaning it. So kudos to RK Rewind for putting a glass case on the screen. Now, how many of you remember going to your local arcade to play all of your favorite games and then you run out of lives, you've got to continue only to realize you've just run out of coins. Then this right here might be a site that reminds you of your worst enemy back in the arcade days. Now, the good news is that these modern day cabinets don't have to be coin operated anymore. Thanks to this little handy dandy button on the deck here that adds more credits whenever you want to continue. And the funny thing is, nobody needs to know about that. Oh shit. Now we move on to the heart and soul of this cabinet. Now as we look inside here, anyone who's tech savvy with computers will recognize this layout. However, it's still worth mentioning that it's still just a PC running its own arcade software. And just to clarify, this is not running the main arcade emulator. Using that program, it requires Windows, which this thing does not have. You turn it on and just go straight into the arcade software. And the speakers, when I first turned it on, was ridiculously loud as balls.
and I honestly thought it was going to be that loud all the time until I opened up the cabinet and I saw that it had an audio controller with treble, bass, volume and balance for the left speaker and the right speaker. So after a little bit of fine tuning, everything in terms of audio was all good to go. And now it's time to move on to the fun part and that is the games. Now just what type of games can you expect to get on an arcade cabinet like this one? Well, they come in two different types of configurations. 60 games in one, or 3500 games in one. The 60 games in one, you can expect to see all your favorites that you may have seen growing up, such as Frogger, Pac-Man, Space Invaders, 1942, and so on. I'll have a link for the 60 games in one list in the video description for you to have a look in case you're interested. Now what about the 3500 in one configuration? Well that one will have all the games in the 60 in one configuration, along with other editions that wouldn't be on the 60 in one configuration, and they are the Mortal Kombat series, Tekken 3, Streets of Rage 2, WWF, and surprisingly, it even has arcade versions of Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe I've been living under a rock after all these years, but I have never, ever seen arcade versions of Super Mario Bros. and Sonic the Hedgehog. Playing those two, I really didn't see much of a difference between the console variants, except for in Sonic the Hedgehog, the arcade version, you have to pass a level before the time runs out. So do I recommend anyone picking up an arcade cabinet for their own home? For me, it is a definite yes, but only if your budget allows. These traditional arcade cabinets start at a price of $1,500. And if you don't have that much money to spend, there are two other options. You can either get the bar top boxes, which start at $700, or if you really want to, you can go to the used market and find custom arcade cabinets for about the same price. But whatever method that you choose to purchase one, adding an arcade cabinet to your own home will instantly add that nostalgic retro gaming feel to any room that you put it in. Well, thanks for watching guys. Like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already for more future content headed your way. And be sure to give me a like and follow on social media. Links in the video description below and I'll catch you in the next one. Now, come on. Yeah, that's it. You take all them punches. Take all them. No, no, no. Recover, 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 recover. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. Oh, you little son of a fat little.